Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel XYZ Architect. This is the last video for the geometrical elements section and in this last video we will talk about runout and total runout. So let's get right to it. As usual, we will start with generalities of the element so we can get used to the terms and know our element. So let's see how we will identify runout and total runout on the drawing and we will go to the symbol. So the symbol of the runout is represented by an inclined arrow like we can see here. And uh, the symbol of the total runout is represented by two arrows united, two inclined arrows united, like we can see here. So this is the way we can identify the total runout characteristic in the drawing. Now we can see how the runout is defined. So we can go to definition. So runout can be considered a consequence of the roundness and concentricity combined and can be applied to any surface of revolution at any cross section. So runout is roundness plus concentricity at any surface of revolution. Total runout is represented by the difference from the maximum and the minimum distance of a surface of revolution to a reference axis of rotation. So total runout is cylindricity plus coaxiality at the whole surface. As for the tolerance, the maximum admitted value for the runout uh, at any cross section like we can see here. This is the reference axis and this is the tolerance zone. This is the actual element and this green zone is the tolerance where the actual element uh, can rotate around the, the axis. And the total runout is the whole surface like we can see here so the tolerance is on the whole surface and this is the actual element and the actual element may rotate around the axis the reference axis within the tolerance zone like we can see here the, the green cylinders now let's see some drawing examples The first example shows a part that has a requirement of runout of 0.2 mm from day to A. And uh, this is the way we see it on the drawing right here. And this is the way we can interpret it, exaggerate it, of course. So this component from the part at any cross section from it is allowed to move from datum A, from the axis of datum A, like this in a total tolerance zone of 0.2 millimeters. For our second example, we have a part that has a requirement of total runout this time of 0.5 millimeters from the common axis, the common axis of datums A and B. So A and B is a common axis. So this is the way we identify the requirement on the drawing and we can interpret this again exaggerated as the whole surface of the cylinder from the middle, this one, is allowed to move like this from the common datum in a total tolerance of 0.5 millimeters. And now we can go and see the gum example. Okay, so this is the drawing that I created in order for us to work in GOM Inspect. So it's a simple drawing with uh, common datum A and B 
and the requirement of total runout of 0.5 according to A minus B, so the common data A and B. So in GOM inspect, I've uh, already inserted the CAD model. Uh, let's bring also a mesh model from the CAD model. You can do that by going to operation CAD and CAD to actual mesh. Let's rename the mesh as runout example. Click on the CAD. Okay, so now that we have the mesh model, we can go and create the pre-alignment. Okay. There isn't any deviations because it's a, it's a mesh model according to the CAD model, so there aren't going to be any deviations. Uh, okay, so now we have to construct our cylinders, go to cylinders, auto cylinder and choose this one, let's call it A, create it, now this one and call it B, create and close, nominal geometry cylinders a and b select both of them and at the measuring principle choose fitting element uh, okay automatic should be fine good so now we have also actual elements but in order to make the common datum we must go and take also the planes from here and construct points of intersections between the line of the cylinders and the planes to construct uh, the common datum the line between a and b okay so go to construct plane nominal okay call this help plane a Create and close. Oh, I should go on with it. Do the same for this part as well. Help plan B. Now create and close. Now go to planes. Select both of them. Fitting element. And OK. Now go to points, intersection point, help point A, A, create and help point B, choose the B the cylinder, the axis of the cylinder and the plane, the help plane, create and close. Now as for the points, we are going to choose again fitting elements, ok. And now for the final stage, for the datum, the common datum, choose a line, a two point point line, call this A minus B, choose help point A, help point B, create and close. As for measuring principle, reference construction. Okay, so this is how you can do a common datum in GOM inspect. So yeah, we can uh, check this also for this tutorial, <laughs> okay? Uh, now we need this cylinder from the middle, according to the drawing, to check the total runout. So again, construct cylinder, auto cylinder, and 
choose the cylinder okay call this evaluate evaluated cylinder create and close measuring principle fitting okay and now we go to inspection check gdnt let's check let's say that we have uh, also a run out of this cylinder uh, from datum a let's see if it works yeah it works okay so it's taking the center of the cylinder and it's evaluating the run out okay so we can do also run out let's put here 0.5 or 0.25 because it's only on one part so it's half of it okay and if you want to do a total run out you go again to inspection check gdnt total run out and now you choose common datum a minus b and 0.5 okay okay so this is it this is how you check the run out and total run out on gum inspect okay everyone this is it thank you for watching please hit that subscribe button if you are not a subscriber yet i hope you like what i'm doing hit that like button if you do until next time have a nice one